Hello, my name is Kyle Mitchell and I struggled with social anxiety and mental health for, you know, really ever since I can remember. I mean, I can remember as young as uh, being in kindergarten and struggling with social anxiety and my mental health, although I did not know what those things were at the time. Uh, I look back now and I said, oh, okay, yeah, things make sense. So I remember going, I would, went to a really small private school. It was about 50 kids, my entire class. And I felt, I felt comfortable when I was around my small group of friends that I had created. But when I was outside of them, I became, I felt like this heat wave come over me, which I found out later was anxiety and just over like really weird and small things. You know, just as simple as like getting up and turning up, a, turning in a test in, in front of everyone at the, in the class or, you know, getting up to blow my nose. I would have all these thoughts just cycling through my head and I just thought I was different. I just thought I was the only one who felt that way. I mean, I, I just thought there was kind of something wrong with me and I, I kind of just let it slide for a while and I, I kind of just kind of went under the radar until the end of my freshman year and going into my sophomore year of high school, I had to transfer to this, to a public school. Uh, my parents could no longer afford this private school I was going to, so I transferred to this large public school. And so to give you a little bit of context, what that was like. So at my private school, I said there was 50 kids in the entire class. And in this new school that I was going to, there was 400 kids in my class. So literally the class of this new public school I was going to was twice as big as my entire high school that I was attending before. And you know, it was the first time I've ever been to a, a public school, you know, first time going to school and not wearing a uniform. Yeah, first time we're having to ride a bus. I know no one at this school, no one. And you know, I, I my heart is just like beaten out of my chest that first day, you know, from getting on the bus to finally getting dropped off. And I, you know, walk in and, and into the school and it's just like a sea of people. Like I am thrown way off base. And I also realized, wow, the bus drops you off really early. So the bus would drop me off like, um, 40 minutes before class even started. So I didn't know what to do. I, mean, I, I didn't want to be like that kid in the side and like everybody like sitting there watching me and thinking like, Oh, what's he doing? That weirdo. Like I, you know, I thought people would be like that towards me and I didn't have any friends to like go and talk to for a minute. So I came up with a plan where I wanted to blend in. And there was these, these main hallways, like basically into a square. And I would just, you know, I'd circle this square and I just walked around it for 40 minutes every single day. Did that every day just so I could blend in. And until one day, you know, I was called out and I was asked like, you know, why are you, um, you know, why are you walking around in circles in the hallways? Man, I was just so embarrassed and I was humiliated. And I, I mean, obviously the next day and every day after that, I couldn't just go to, you know, do my thing or where I walk on the circles and I was humiliated at that point. And so I started to just go to the bathroom and I, I, I cried every single day. I would just sit there in the stall and I would just have my hands in my face and I would just sit there and I, I would cry and I'd have all these thoughts racing in my head like, Kyle, why are you not good enough? Like, why aren't you normal? Like, what is wrong with you, man? Like, why can't you make friends? Why, why is it so hard to have a conversation? Why do you feel this way all the time? And, you know, the, the biggest thing coming out of this for me you know, I was eventually uh, eventually able to overcome my social anxiety and not have my life dictated by that. But um, yeah, what was a big thing for me after like all that happening and all me overcoming my social anxiety was how 
did I go from five years old and probably up into my, you know, about 20 years old without hearing about mental health? I didn't even know what it was. I had no idea what it was. And I mean, if I just would have known what that was, if I would have understood what that was, I would have understood other people felt like I did, man, that would have helped me so much. And so that's what I do now. I mean, I, I share my story. I share my experiences. You know, I've gone to, I've spoken at conferences and I, you know, I speak at schools now and I just, I just share and say, Hey, you know, this is what I've gone through. You are not weird or abnormal. If you feel this way, it's called mental health and there are ways to improve upon your mental health. And so my mission is really to help people realize that one you're you're not alone and two there's a way out of this especially you know me struggling with social anxiety i'm especially focused on that but i like to talk about mental health in general and so yeah you know i've done lots of different things you know speaking i now have a podcast called the social ninjas where my friend and i we both struggled with social anxiety in the past and mental health and now we kind of share our experiences and uh, stuff that we learn we bring a guest on to help talk about different topics. And honestly, mental health is still something I practice every day. It's not something that I just, I did one time and now I'm good. Like, no, I just, I, I, I'm still learning every day. I'm still practicing. I'm still getting better every day. So if you're out there and you're watching this video saying, man, life sucks. It's, I mean, it's just things aren't getting better. Like, I promise you. There's a way out there. There's information out there. So just don't give up on yourself. Keep learning. Keep doing what you have to do. And keep practicing because it is it is a practice, your mental health. There's no such thing as perfect mental health. So keep practicing. There will be bad days, but there will also be good days. So keep at it. Keep fighting. And keep your, keep your mental health a priority just like you do your physical health.